Ben Lewis, Johnson over to help. Final seconds, here is Powell with a sweeping hook. And Pierce fires from the backcourt to end this first quarter. So the West, 15 of 28 shooting, led by Kobe Bryant, 5 of 10, with 11 points. And uh, the East, 11 for 28. The high man, LeBron James, with 7. The West ending this opening quarter with a 26 to 7 spur. Back at the U.S. Airways Center, capacity crowd better than 18,000 coming out for the 58th NBA All-Star Game. Senator John McCain and his wife, uh, Cindy, uh, another well-known couple, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Many familiar faces on oh, hand. Oh, is Snoop. Snoop Dogg and <laughs> Snoopy Ducky Dogg. <laughs> and uh, Ludacris. Or Chris Bridges, his yes. acting name. You are so honored. Oh, Chris Tucker right next to him. You want to go around the arena and check others <laughs> hey, the, hey, the biggest person is to our left, and that's Muhammad Ali. That's I correct. don't care about anyone else in here. Muhammad taking it all in a couple of uh, seats away from us. Second quarter gets underway. Ray Allen has a three on two. Kicks it back for a three-point attempt that is blocked. Joe Johnson blocked by Paul Gasol. Parker with the dish. Davitsky from Parker. Oh, textbook fast break. Get the ball in the middle. Stop at the free throw line and execute it and give it to one of your wing players. The West with a 36-27 lead at uh, one stretch. They reeled off 19 unanswered points. The big part of that was Shaquille O'Neal. Six points, three rebounds, three assists while he was in the game. Here's backing his way. Allen is open. Just did beat the uh, shot clock buzzer. Roy surprised by that pass, able to recover. Brandon Roy of the Portland Trailblazers playing his second All-Star game. Devin Harris showing us that uh, dazzling speed. That speed versus speed. Tony Parker and Devin Harris. I'd love to see a foot race between those two guys. They're probably faster with the ball, though, than they are without it. <laughs> yeah. So what are you trying to say, that Tony should have been gone after the Guinness Book of World Records? Uh? I don't think Tony's going to get suckered into that. <laughs> Here's Pierce protecting the ball, and he got the roll. Marv Albert, Doug Collins, Reggie Miller, Craig Sager, David Aldridge working the sidelines. We are in Phoenix, Arizona, the West with a nine-point lead. Nowitzki, yes. It creates such great space with that fading jump shot. He gets it behind his head and uh, posting more this year over the last few games with the Rick Carlisle. Well, this is like our game on Thursday. Paul Pierce versus Dirk Nowitzki kind of going at it in that fourth quarter. And Nowitzki got the step block from behind by Pierce and a foul. Got the hand. Let's check in with Craig Sager. Craig. Well, Mark, Doug mentioned you want to see that foot race between Devin Harris and Tony Parker. Nice. Devin Harris actually did go baseline to baseline with a basketball yesterday at the practice. Set a Guinness World Record of 3.93 seconds. Then for the West, Tony Parker was chosen to challenge that record. However, he got a late phone call from his coach, Greg Popovich, and said, I advise you not to take part in that. So Tony decided to <laughs> give Devin Harris the world record. Veto from afar. Wow, Popovich has one, has some pull. Well, Doug mentioned as we were watching that, he wondered what the reaction of the Nets coach <laughs> yeah, Lawrence, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the West up by 11. We're two minutes in, second quarter. Gasol <laughs> jumping out at Pierce. Pierce able to go baseline, and he is fouled. Such a tough matchup. Somebody, either Pau Gasol or Dirk Nowitzki, has guarded, got to guard a small player. Now, you look out there, it's Richard Lewis, and basically Paul Pierce are your power players. you got Danny Granger, Ray Allen, and Mo Williams. So this is what 
uh, Mike Brown had talked about with his uh, lack of big guys. And I think Phil Jackson, the thing for him is a lot of his big guys don't want to play a lot of minutes today, which is probably uh, probably good for Phil in terms of trying to get fine time. Foul committed by Gasol. You can vote for the game that you want to see on NBA TV. Special fan night voting extends through tonight's All-Star game, and results will be announced on a special episode of Inside the NBA on NBA TV following the NBA All-Star game. A couple of other reminders. Wednesday on ESPN, it is Orlando at New Orleans, followed by the Lakers, Golden State. And then next Sunday on ABC, Boston, right here at Phoenix. Uh, coverage starts 2 o'clock Eastern Time. The West up by 9. This is Mo Williams of the Cleveland Cavaliers who just came on, rebounded by Brandon Roy. David West of the Hornets has checked in uh, for the Western squad. Phillips way off. Gasol getting inside. And that's going to be the West problem because they are so small. If you're Pal Gasol, you've got to bang on the offensive glass. Lewis off the fake. Pierce for three. Oh, that is a very nice rim to be shooting at. <laughs> nice touch. I do not speak out of experience. Soft rims. Ball slapped away, but it's recovered by Phillips. His pass picked off. Here comes Danny Granger of the Pacers. Three on one. Nice pass from Williams to set it up for Allen. Great to see Mo Williams in this game after playing so brilliantly in the first part of the season for Cleveland. Mo, a uh, late substitute because of the injury suffered by Chris Bosch, sidelined by that sprained right knee. And Pierce is fouled by Wes. How about Mo Williams? The day after he received word that, yes, he had made the All-Star team, goes out, puts up a career-high 44. That was this past Wednesday night against the Suns. Well, Marv, you, you take a look at Reggie. He was talking about the size factor, the East versus the West. The East has taken 14 threes in this game as Paul Pierce steps to the line and uh, looks for his 12th point of the game. The West has taken only four. The difference is the West has 32 points in the paint to 18. So you can see the difference. The West going inside with their size and attacking. And the East spreading the floor and uh, launching threes. And Paul Pierce with 12 points uh, within five minutes. West up 46, 41. Four minutes gone by in the second quarter. Phillips for three. Mo Williams with the rebound. Looked like he was going to peg it down court. Here comes Pierce. Takes to the rim and hits on the reverse. Yeah, Paul Pierce played great basketball. He started out slow this year, but month by month, his numbers are going up. And uh, right now, is in a good groove here off this bench. Paul Pierce averaging 19 points during the regular season, along with six rebounds. The East with eight unanswered. West over Lewis and rebounded by Lewis. Well, as small as the East is, they're doing a good job on the boards, making sure there's only one shot. Allen for three. He's been off. Rebounded by West. West with Gasol and Roy up front. Parker and Billups are at the guards. Billups lost it. Here's Granger. Parker just says, uh, uh, you take it. Reggie, you got to be happy. This young guy yes, from the Indiana Pacers with what he's doing, not only with his play, but just the character and dignity he plays this game with. You got to be very proud being a former Pacer. Well, I am. You know, he plays hard. He plays hurt. Right now, he has banged up knees, and, you know, he said there was no way he was going to miss the opportunity to play in this game. And, you know, when the Pacers drafted him, first of all, it was a steal. He was supposed to go in the lottery. He fell down to the 17th pick. The Pacers picked him up, and... Last year, averaged 18, 19 points now, almost 26. In line for most improved. Danny Granger in his fourth season out of New Mexico. Pierce's pass picked off by Parker. Phillips finding Gasol, and he is fouled. Lewis coming over and making contact. That's his second. And now wholesale substitutions being made. Kobe Bryant will return along with Amari Stoudemire and Chris Paul. Wayne Wade and Kevin Garnett will check back in.
Al Gasol in his second All-Star appearance. Rookie of the Year as a member of the Memphis Grizzlies acquired.